How much human blood would you have to consume in order to stay alive? There was no finger motion there. You didn't even move to swipe. No, it's too late now. I already saw it. You have to stay. To keep things simple and for my own moral comfort, we're going to assume you're a vampire and you need approximately 2,000 calories a day. Yeah, there's semantics here. Your body temperature is lower. Maybe you rest more, but you're also a magic user and that's got to consume some calories. So we're sticking with the 2,000. First off, we need to know the nutritional content of human blood. Also, this is why my browser history is a mess. One cup sounded like a pretty good serving to me. That's about 250 grams. That's going to clock in at 206 calories. This is basically the carnivore diet on tap. What I can say is that this 52 grams of protein here puts human blood as the red dead winner of protein shakes. Easy math here. We got 2,000 calories divided by 206 calories. That's going to be about 10 cups of blood that you need. The least efficient and most morally questionable way to go about this is consuming babies, of which you are going to need 10 to meet your caloric needs. You can't unlearn that. That's a thing you know now. Babies are way too much work. Let's move up to children. Here we're talking elementary, maybe middle schoolers, 80 pounds. You're going to need at least one, maybe one to two, depending on how much they actually weigh. Obviously, adults is where it's at because you can pick the bad ones if you have moral qualms and just one adult's going to give you two days worth of calories. But the real value here is when you supersize that meal, one or two fluffy adults and you've got yourself an entire week's worth of calories.